are going to build a resizable div using react which we can move in any direction right top left and bottom and the special thing of this div is that we have used no library for it we will be building it using pure react let's begin okay so i have opened a fresh react app in the vs code let's go to the src folder and first of all in the app.css let's delete everything and in app.js a uh, return method i'm going to keep a single div and let's rename it to wrapper inside the wrapper i'm going to have one more div box div i'm going to have four more divs one for each side that is left right top and bottom and i'm going to give one more uh, unique class to this div that is rl r stands for resize and l for the left now i'm going to copy and paste it three times this would be for the top side this is for right side and this is for the bottom side and we're also going to have a heading so for that i'm going to use react fragment to wrap multiple elements into a single element here i'm going to give h1 save it now to each div i want to give some uh, react reference so that we can uh, point them and change their width and height so for that, in the app, I'm going to write cones, ref, box, use ref, initial value would be null. And so this ref, I'm going to pass to this div. So similarly, I'm going to create four more ref. And next thing we are going to use is the use effect hook. And we are going to pass an empty array as a dependency to it. Okay, this ref box points to this resizable box itself. So we are getting the current property of it. And now to get the height and width of this box, we can use a window method which says get computed style okay so this method basically returns every detail of your html element so we are passing the resizable element here now to get the width and height of this resizable element i'm going to write styles dot width so this style dot width uh, would contain the value for example 100 pixel but we want to get only 100 out of it so for that, I'm going to write parse int. And similarly, pass the value 10. This is a red X value, which the parse int requires. Next, I'm going to create two variables. One is X coordinate, initial value would be zero. And another is Y coordinate, initial value would be zero. After that, I'm going to have resizable element dot style top 50 pixel. This is to push the uh, box 150 pixels from the top, and I'm also going to push the box from the left side. Now we are going to write the resizable logic for the top side. For this method, we have the following logic. Basically, uh, when we are moving the box in the top direction, we are technically changing the height of it. That's why we are setting the height of the resizable element. And this height is calculated here. Okay. Similarly, we have one more method, which is called on mouse up 
auto precise in this we are removing the event listener we are going to add this mouse move event listener for that we have another method and it's called own mouse down to precise okay so here we are removing the event listener and here we are adding the event listener well this is for the top uh, direction similarly we are going to have uh, methods for the right bottom and the uh, left side of the box so let me let me quickly get that so here we are going to paste that uh, now let me quickly walk you through these method so top we have already discussed and for the right method we again have three methods one is to so when we move the uh, box in the right direction we are technically changing its width that's why we are setting the width here then we are removing the event listener here we are adding the event listener similarly for the bottom technically we are changing the height when we are moving it in the uh, basically bottom direction then we are setting the height here then removing the event listener and here adding the event listener similarly for the left side we have three methods here we are setting the width here we are removing the listener and here we are adding the listeners now we need to register the events for the mouse down for all of our uh, four sides here i'm going to write this it says the mouse down event listener basically a one event listener we are adding for the right side then for the top side then for the bottom side and for the left side so here we are uh, uh, adding the event listeners okay, now we need to uh, remove these event listeners and to remove the event listeners uh, we can return we can write a return statement here in the use effect which will act as a component will unmount okay so i'm going to paste that so this is a return method let's save it here you can see it is removing the mouse down events and here at the top we have added the mouse event listener and here we are removing that okay with that our uh, react code is done let's go to the after css now and there i'm going to paste the css i'm not going to bore you with the css we'll quickly walk through it so here this is the uh global style and then for the heading we have we are relying uh, using the text line center for it the wrapper the background would be of color teal and then the resizable box border would be red and the size is 200 pixel and 200 pixel then the resizer is uh, positioned absolutely then this rr is for the right side this is for the top side and this is for the bottom side and this is for the left side so let's save everything and let's uh, run the application hopefully it will work so let's be uh, run the server by using npm start okay so here you can see we have our uh, box which we can but there is some issue it is not working let's go to our code and check it okay so i have found it here we need to use let instead of const and save it Let's go back to the application and refresh it. Okay, now it is working. We can move to the right side, top side, left side, and the bottom side. That's it. Thank you.